going to scroll up and see what's what people are talking about Thomas for a long time in the UK you were required to study another language for a year which felt like such a waste of time either make people study it for years so they can actually have a chance of really learning the language or make it totally optional a year studying a language really doesn't help in my opinion and nobody took it seriously here's the thing Thomas for me they made me study French for grade 8 9 10 11 for four years at school right I didn't learn how to speak it I didn't really learn how to write it I cheated all the way through I didn't give a rat's ass because the first year when they said oh you have to take you have to take a second language I told them well I already have two other languages Armenian and Farsi they said well we don't recognize those languages right what they really meant to say is we don't have the funding to offer classes in those languages so you have to take this other language right and at the time I was barely two years three years into trying to learn English so my English was horrendous and they were trying to force feed another language down my throat so I took it for four years and that was the case for most of my uh, peers most of my classmates they took French for four years they can barely say five words fenetra I know window fenetra <laughs> right merci right I probably retain more French words from learning Farsi because Farsi uses a lot of French words then I acquired learning French for four years in school I think it should be languages like and by the way I'm, I got nothing against languages I think everybody should have second third fourth language like as many languages as possible because every language gives you a different perspective um, different way to interpret life right there are things you can say in English that you can't say in other languages there's things you can say in other languages that you can't say in English Robert Anton Wilson said this during one of his uh, interviews where and I don't know if this is true or not he said uh, basically it's um, easier to talk about quantum mechanics quantum physics in Swahili than it is in English because Swahili has words that explain some of the properties of quantum mechanics naturally like it, it just makes sense and English lacks those words right now I think he was just trying to make an example I don't think that's true but I'm pretty sure that's true in another language it must be easier to talk about quantum mechanics in certain languages than it is in other languages than it is in English there's no doubt of doubt in my mind that that is the case